This time of year, Stanford's Natalie Augustine spends a lot of time working in her garden. There's this whole idea of growth and rebirth that is, uh, that is important to me and, 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 and so significant to, to how I kind of look at life. Because it was in spring when she completed chemotherapy, twice. The first time she found out she had cancer was 2007. I started to get this little bump on my face, right in my eye. That bump, and, um, doctors said, was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, but it had a rare quality. So it wasn't in my lymph system, it was actually just right here in my face. She went on to treatment at Stanford Hospital's Bennett Cancer Center. Felt very comfortable with with my doctor. Um, Dr. Stephen Lowe is, is my doctor at, at Bennett. Um, I call him my saving grace because he certainly, <laughs> he's the reason I'm here today, and, and uh, as are many of the people at Bennett. In April 2008, she finished chemo and was cancer-free two years later. But in 2011, something else didn't feel right. At age 44, she had a colonoscopy. Then her doctor told her she had stage three colon cancer. I was terrified. Um, I was terrified on, on so many levels of, of the word stage three. And now she was facing cancer you know, again. Said, and I've said this about cancer across the board. I have cancer. Cancer does not have me. It will not define who I am. She went into chemo with that attitude, bravely losing her hair. Her husband helped her shave her head once more. She was very good about it. She embraced the whole thing and, and sort of held on to the hair as long as you do. And then she said, OK, it's, it's time to get rid of it. And uh, I actually was sort of honored that she asked me, uh, asked me to do that. He stu stood by me, stuck by me without fail. And, and I, I thank him every day for that. Ending chemo spring the following year, Augustine found peace in her garden. My first big thing was I, I redid, um, I built the stone walls in the front. Um, that was my therapy. Now she's cancer free. And I look at life as, you know, today's a good day and let's hope tomorrow's as good or better. And if it's not, then the day after that will be. I'm, I'm very much a little Pollyanna, <laughs> a little, little Mary Sunshine sometimes. And as she admires the flowers and trees in her yard, she thinks of the people at the hospital who saved her life. These are the most important people of your, in your life for a period of time and always will hold a special place in your heart. Nat has received so much support, affection, and just outright love. Each year, the couple walks in the hospital's Hope in Motion event in Stanford. Her team, Nat's Lucky Charms, raises money for the Bennett Cancer Center's programs and services. It's scheduled for Sunday, June 1st. All of the information is on our website. I'm Christina Chiarelli for It's Relevant News.